In our last video, we finished building the content of our dashboard. So now all that remains is adding some final adjustments in order to have our dashboard unified with our corporate design and standardize the layout. We won't dive extensively into the design principles, however, we can at least add some structure to the dashboard by adding a background image with our layout. We do this by without having anything selected, we click on the format pane and go to page background. And here we click on add image. You can prepare any kind of image and just simply select it and open and add it. Once we have it, have it in the dashboard, let's select image fit and fit. We now have a convenient layout that has enough space for the dashboard title and our slicers. But maybe we just need to remove the slicer titles. So we can select the slicers and just remove the slicer headers. Now let's add a title for our dashboard with insert text box. So let's just rearrange it and maybe name it to something like Zebra BI Sales Dashboard. Can hit Control A to select everything and maybe adjust the sizing a little bit and select Sego UI Lite. Adjust it to the center and rearrange. Once we are done with the formatting again, we can then add in a separator line to complete the design. And we do this by going to insert and selecting shapes and adding a line. We can then move this you can then again re re resize the shape move it somewhere here and change the rotation to 90 degrees and maybe change the outline color to a gray once we're happy with our design we can also then change the title of the page by double clicking on it and call it sales dashboard once finished we can simply duplicate the page and create different dashboards based on our main layout by selecting the page and right clicking on it and selecting duplicate page now is the time to be creative and create some dashboards of your own Feel free to show us the wonderful reports you were able to build on any social media platform or send us your feedback on support at zebrabi.com. And maybe we can provide some tips on how to further improve them. With that, I would like to congratulate you for completing the Zebra BI crash course. Hopefully this will help you in your journey to actionable reporting. However, know that we have only scratched the surface of what is possible with Zebra BI visuals. To learn more, make sure to visit our knowledge base and follow our social media channels where we constantly provide valuable information on how to build IBCS compliance reports and dashboards with Zebra BI Visuals.